See how our Stanley Cup winners are doing. Uh, did they get through security? Here they are. Okay, here they are coming through. There they are. There they are right there. They made it through, ladies and gentlemen. They got through. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Dan Boyle, John Graham, Nolan Pratt, and Vincent LaCavier. Come on out here, guys. I have a bone to pick with you guys. You guys are supposed to be here Tuesday. What happened? You know, I don't think any of us realized um, the extent of the parting that was going to be going on. Really? So really? We, we slept in a little bit late yeah. for, for the party. And what time did the party end? It's still going right still now. Going yeah, still going on. All right. Now, now, which one of you guys is, is the male model? Which one? I'm, 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 is it? Uh, <laughs> he's he's right yeah, yeah. No, that's how I call myself. I, one opportunity and... Uh, and no, I, I know you're in GQ. And then you were in, was it Big Butt Bonanza? Is that yeah, the one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you were, in, you were in, is Vanity Fair the Vanity one we have? Fair. There we go. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Long time ago. Now, Dan, you had a problem, right? What I happened? Did. A little problem. Uh, actually, my house burned down uh, during uh, game one of the finals. And, uh, <laughs> during right, the game? Right. During yeah. the game. They were actually kind enough to wait till after the game to wait, let wait, me know. Wait, that's not <laughs> being kind. <laughs> I know. I'm what saying mean, that's so sarcastic. Did the coach know while you were playing? Uh, I think they found out, yeah, and then they, they let me know uh, after the game. <laughs> Third of the house was burnt down. And did you so. win game one? We actually lost. You so lost. It was a game tough night overall. Okay. So not only did you lose, hey, your house burned down. That's right. It was a pretty sweet night. So just, oh, well, nobody got injured, obviously. No, nobody okay. got injured. Now, I see, I felt bad about you guys flying all over Tampa Bay just to walk out here and hang for like two seconds. Can you hang around for the rest of the show? Yeah. We stay on the couch today? Okay, that'd be cool. All right, good, good. We're going to be with us the rest of the show. Be right back with Summer Products. Vin Diesel, say hello to John Melendez. Kevin, you back to the Tonight Show Band. Thank you, guys. Okay, are you guys big Vin Diesel fans? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Vin Diesel on the show tonight. Nicole Richie and music from uh, Julia Roberts. Are you ready? Yeah, show me how excited you are. Let's do it, guys. Uh, there you go. Exactly. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen. You know my first... No, you got to keep it up. You know my first guest from movies like The Fast and the Furious and Triple X. He's currently starring in the movie The Chronicles of Riddick, which opens tomorrow. Please welcome Maybe. Vin Diesel. Yeah! Welcome back. How you been? <coughs> you know it always takes me a second to acclimate. <laughs> and to wonder whether you paid them or... No. Just you. Hey, we... We got triple X over here. We didn't even pay you. I know! <laughs> Well, thank you. know, you were actually here on time because I know you, you sort of tend to come a little on the late side. Because yes. we always kind of like put time aside in case Vin is late. But this is <laughs> very good. This is... I'm never on time. I'm, I'm a perfectionist that's never punctual. For some reason, I was late for... My mother was getting married when I was 10 right. to my father. That's real late. Ask. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a long story, guys. <laughs> and we were late to the wedding because my mother forgot to get us shoes. And all we had was pro -keds. And so we went to Tom McCann, and my brother and I were very precious about the kind of shoes yeah, that we were. And I was nervous because all night I was preparing a speech for my mother and my father's wedding. Oh, cool. There we go. Oh, I love this <clears throat> Now I heard, I heard you were a street performer as a kid. Yes. Like, what, what, did you, what did you do? <sighs> he hears everything, by the way. <laughs> there are no lies here on Leno. I was a break dancer when I was 16. Really? You were a break dancer? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, very good. Break. I, was, I, I was a break dancer when I was 16. And I, we used to, this was in New York, and there were comics like Charlie Barnett, who you know, 
Oh, sure, I know. And we used to Lennon. share space outside the village gate. Yeah, he was the only guy I ever saw do comedy on the street. Because you know, street. comics, you, you need you need a you know a club or yeah. something. But he would just stand on the at street. Washington and Square Park. Okay. He would yell out, "Show!" He would climb a tree and yell out, "Show time!" And everyone would flock to the center of Washington Square Park. But we were so nervous when we were performing to ask for money. So we'd all dance, and then you know the new guy would have to take his hat off and do one of these. Uh, put a dollar in there, and uh, and they'd be waiting for someone to go in their purse and yeah. pull out money, and they'd have to stand there, and they were embarrassed. But that was the only way we could have French fries and chocolate shakes at McDonald's. Well, do you remember any of those moves? <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> that is evil. Do you remember any? I mean, could you do like the split thing? Or you I'm just 36 kind of... years old. I don't know. I'm just asking. No, I don't. I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, there you go. Can you do the twirl thing, like we stand in one spot and do the? I can't, but Kevin can. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin can barely sit in that chair. <laughs> well, I heard something else too that used to sort of. Uh, I guess the polite word way would be uh, word would be economize with clothes. You know what I'm saying? Oh right, you right, go to right, 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 right. Uh, well, growing up as an actor in New York, obviously I had absolutely no money. So whenever I'd buy clothes, I'd keep the tag on. Just in case I had to eat at the end of the month. I mean, you bring it but back? that's like real for some yeah. reason. Yeah. So and now I make all this money, I don't have any sex. I mean... <laughs> I'm just working with what we got here today. Well, let me ask you. I, no, I, I mentioned the monologue. According to this government study, the people who have the most money don't get any sex. Unemployed people have the most sex. Do you find you're doing better now or when you were broke? <laughs> With women, you do better now? Honestly? Yeah. When I was broke, I was a killer. I was a hunter. And then, and then once I got money, I became the hunted. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, I know exactly what you mean. Kevin, Kevin knows talking what we're about talking about. Yeah, it's talking true, about that too. the other day. Right? That's true. Man. When you're young and you're poor, you look, listen, baby. I love you. I've been watching you for five minutes. <laughs> I know you're the one. And now it's like, it's a, a whole nother reality. Now, see, As I... you guys know, am I right? That's right. <laughs> when you were poor, <laughs> you work can I buy you a drink? <laughs> now, I, now, I heard you were dating this woman, Lisa... Her, Liza. Liza Hernandez? Is Lisa her Hernandez? No, Liza. Is it Liza or Lisa? It's Lisa. 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 A great okay. girl. But great see, girl. I don't know her, so I went on the internet to get her picture. Now, this is the picture I got off the internet. Where? That is the picture. No, no, no. No, no. Wrong, wrong girl. That's wrong not her? Girl. No, you got the wrong picture, Jack. That got the wrong picture? You ruined it. What Jack. a gentleman you are. See that? <laughs> Wait, you know, well, whoever you're going out with, dump her and go out with this girl. <laughs> yeah. No, well, see, I haven't seen you in a while because you haven't been here in a little while. I know you've been working on the movie. I'm working so I've been, hard. I, you know, whenever I see you're linked to somebody, I make a little note and I go, okay, I'm going to ask them about that. When you, like, I, like they had you linked to, oh, Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Uh huh. Did you go out with her? Well, we went to dinner. You went to dinner? Yeah. Okay. McDonald's fries and shakes again? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. Just, you know, okay. Yeah, we okay. were. Uh, And how'd that go, okay? It went, it, it, was, a, it was a business dinner. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about future projects together. Oh. Did any of the future projects get accomplished? Um, we're, we're still... Still we were, working on we it. Were, we were talking about doing guys and dolls together. And you would be the guy? I'd be Sky Masterson. Oh, really? And she'd be Sergeant Sarah Brown. Oh, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. It'd be fun. That'd be cool. Now I want to ask you, I'll ask you about Mariah Carey when we get back. Tomorrow with him no, right after this. Tomorrow with him right after this.